welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Natalie A and this is going to be another What I Eat In A Day video whilst following Slim World. If you want to know more information about me, please see the details in the description for this video and it also links to my Instagram. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to get notifications for my latest videos that I upload. Hope you enjoy this video. Take care everyone. So today's breakfast is two Weetabix. I'm going to have soy milk with it. Because I'm probably not going to drink much soy milk today in the day, I'm probably going to put 200 mils in. And I'm going to slice the banana on top as well. When I did Slim and Weld um, running up to my wedding a few years ago, um, I basically didn't change up my food very much. And I think that's why I didn't... Um, succeed as well as I have this time because I just used to eat wheat bix for breakfast every day and I used to um, have either carbonara pasta for lunch or tuna jacket potato um, and then I used to have like chili for dinner or spaghetti bolognese so I was limiting myself when actually Slimmer World allows you to have such a variety of food um, so yeah I would say that it's good to keep mixing up your food and trying new recipes even if it's one new recipe a month or every few weeks I think that helps you to stay motivated and feel like you're having a variety of food and now I keep um, lots of different cereals which um, count as your healthy extra bees um, in my cupboard so that I'm not having the same breakfast every day but yes but today this is a classic one of two Weetabix, a sliced banana and some milk. So I'm having one of my Tasmo Skinny Latte Macchiatos, um, they're made by Law, I got these off Amazon, I'll put the link below. This is two and a half skins for a latte and I'll add some chocolate coconut macaroon syrup which is free. For lunch today I'm going to have a sausage um, roll with leftover sausages from last night and I'm going to put this caramelised onion chutney which I got um, as a Christmas gift and it's um, roughly says on the app for caramelised onion chutney it's one and a half sins per tablespoon so that's what I'm going to put instead of butter. So this is my finished sausage sandwich and I cooked um, some onions with the sausages in the same tray so here's some of the onions put on top as well. Um, the onions are speed and I put spinach on the plate for speed too. Can't wait to tuck in. In the stack I'm having these two dairy milk Oreo mini eggs which are three sins each. There's a total of six sins with um, a tea with some soy milk in it. For tonight's dinner I'm going to be making a tomato and bacon pasta bake. I'm going to use about 300 um, grams of pasta. This is just um, a mixture of two bags I had left in the cupboard so it's roughly about 300 grams. You don't have to measure your pasta on Slim World as long as it's dry pasta but I tend to go around 300, 350 if it's going to make poor portions. I'm going to chop two red onions to put in as well. I'm a fan of onions so I tend to put more in than perhaps other people do. I've also got these red, these peppers, uh, red, green and yellow to put in. We always freeze our peppers when we buy them from the supermarket because we use them in most of our cooking and for my husband's um, stew that he makes which is part of his um, cultural food that he likes. So yeah, we always have peppers in the freezer and I tend to slice them and store them like that so this is why we've got half a green one half a yellow and a few slices of a red one so I'm going to put all these in two and also a tin of mushrooms I'm going to be using these bacon medallions if you're losing weight it's best to cut off all the um, visible fat even on these lean medallions so I'll be slicing those or using scissors to cut them and put them in as well I'm going to be using my pressure cooker for creating this dish 
So I'll show you what I'm going to do each stage. So first I'm going to use the browning tab to brown off the peppers, onion and mushrooms. So I've got this on the browning feature of my pressure cooker. I've just put fry light in and some water to help with the frying. So I've put in the tin of chopped tomatoes now. I'm just going to put in some tomato puree, probably about three tablespoons to thicken up the sauce. Sometimes I do use two tins of chopped tomatoes, but I'm trying to save those at the moment, so I'm just using one can. And I'm going to put in some mixed herbs too. I didn't fully dry off all the water from the um, peppers, mushrooms and bacon and onion because we need water in there for the pasta to absorb. So don't worry if it's a bit watery. I've mixed in the pasta now, but actually I think it does need a second tin of chopped tomatoes. So I'm going to put that in now. So this will looks like now with the second tin of chopped tomatoes. So now I would say it doesn't really need any more water because the water is just below the pasta line. So yeah, I'm going to put this on for 10 minutes on the pasta setting and then check on it and see how it looks because this is going to go in the oven afterwards I don't want it to be too overcooked so this is the pasta after 10 minutes in the pressure cooker on the pasta setting I'm just going to put this in my oven dish and sprinkle the cheese on ready to go in the oven I've measured out 120 grams of lighter cheddar. This will mean each portion will be 30 grams of lighter cheddar. You're allowed 40 grams, so yeah, this will be just under one healthy extra. Hey, and I'll melt this on top in the oven. So I've just set the timer for 15 minutes. I'm going to do 15 minutes of exercise on... <laughs> this um, exercise bike that I've got. Today has been quite a busy day really and um, I've done some work. I worked like half the day and then I've been cleaning the house. <laughs> I think with all that's going on I think cleaning helps you feel in control somehow or maybe it's just me. Um, so I've been like scrubbing the floors, cleaning the bathroom and um, what else have I been doing? <laughs> Catching up on washing, changing our bed, um, yeah, I've just been catching up on things really and just want to feel like everything is sorted kind of thing. And um, even my husband's gone out and cut the grass today, so we've really had quite a productive day all in all. Um, and I think even the thought of spending weeks at home um, will feel more at peace if things are in order in our home so yeah that's what we've been busy doing today um my son's just having a nap at the moment so i've got my pasta bake in the oven so i've got a few minutes now um to fit in some exercise yeah so i haven't done too badly today i'm ending the day on 14 sins it's possible i might have a half a sin yogurt after this video if i do you'll see that in the food log and um, I take a picture of at the end um, yeah so it'd be either 14 sins or 14 and a half which isn't too bad um, I'm really trying to um, not eat everything that's in the house at the moment I think trying to keep busy is the best thing um, yeah so today's been a day of cleaning really and working so yeah I suppose this is what days are going to be like now that we're in lockdown and this is day one of lockdown but um yeah I think we'll all adjust to it even after a week I hope we will have adjusted more to it um I don't know why last night I just couldn't sleep very well at all I don't know if other people are struggling to sleep um so I hope that will get better maybe it's just anxiety over everything that's happening um yeah and also <laughs> my son's teething at the moment He's had his first tooth put through um, and 
we haven't got a lot of cowpole and cowpole seems to be in short supply at the moment so yeah we're trying our best <laughs> so yeah that could be another reason why I didn't sleep very much so yeah so it'll be interesting to hear what you guys are all doing to keep busy um I should imagine if you've got school age children at home or slightly older children than my son then you're probably very busy I would imagine um, now that they're being homeschooled and um, needing to be entertained so yeah I know a lot of my friends are finding that a fun experience right now <laughs> my mum works in a school so at the moment she's still waiting to find out if she needs to go in to support the children of key workers um, so yeah I think there's so much going on and I think our minds are just all over the place thinking about so many things um, yeah but I want to try and keep these videos positive this is my finished pasta bake with the melted cheese on top and it's served with spinach can't wait to eat it mm -hmm.